Hello everyone, Carl here with another Ubuntu server tutorial. Today I'm going to show you guys how to download and run your own dedicated Terraria server. So, let's begin. First you want to do is log into your server. And we need to download some programs. So, sudo apt k install. We're going to need unzip, so unzip. Then mono runtime, m o n o dash runtime. Then lib mono dash system dash core four point o dash c i o lib mono dash s q lite. 4.0-CIO lib my SQL dash CIL dash dev lib mono dash system dash runtime dash SCRIALIZATION 4.0 dash CIL lib mono dash web four point o dash CIL lib mono dash system dash x m l dash l i n q four point o dash sil enter Enter your password. Go ahead and install these. Alright, once finished, let's make a new directory. sudo mk dir name it terraria e r r a r i a. Go ahead and move into that directory. cd now we want to go ahead and download T-Shock. T-Shock is a standalone program that uh, acts as the TRS server. Since TRS doesn't come with the dedicated server software, T-Shock is awesome. They have pretty, uh, pretty confident and uh, reliable on the updates. So we're gonna go ahead and get this. So sudo wget https forward slash forward slash github dot com forward slash n y x s t u d i o s forward slash t shock forward slash releases forward slash download forward slash b four point two four zero zero forward slash t shock point 4.2.4.0128.zip. Uh, zip. ALS to verify. There it is. Now we need to unzip the download. So, <coughs> sudo unzip. T shock. 4.2.4.0128.zip ls all right now we go ahead and run the server so sudo mono t e r r a r i a server dot e x c and it's going to go to installation so this is the first time running it. We're going to go ahead and select N for New World. I'm going to go ahead and select 1 because I don't want to wait longer for it to render. So I'm going to press 1. You can select whatever you like. I'm going to call it Awesome because it's awesome. And it's going to render the world. Be patient. It could take a while depending on how long or what size map you decided to make. All right. Now we go ahead and choose to launch the world. Our first world will be number one. 
You can select a, uh, a different server port if you wish. I'm gonna use the default 7777. And that's it, the server is running. You may get a uh, exception right error. Uh, don't worry about that, it's not a problem. I get it on my dedicated server and it runs just perfect. Um, when you're ready to exit the world and you wanna save progress, you can just go and type in exit. And it will save the world and shut down your server and then you can just use the command sudo mono terra server.exe to launch the server again. And that's really all there's to it. Now all you really have to do is open up port 7777 on your firewall, route it if you have to route it to your server. If you want to be able to allow uh, you know, uh, outside people you know, people to be able to play from, from the internet. And uh, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, show me leave me a like. If you want to see more uh, tutorials in the future, subscribe. If you have a comment for a tutorial that you would like for me to do, leave it in the comment section. I'll see what I can do to get to it. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next tutorial.